You were, uh, without any doubt, one of the highlights at the Eurosonic Festival. And uh, when we saw you back there, we just knew we had to have you back. Um, you're from Dublin? We're from Dublin, yeah. Uh, it's, it's one week before St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's right. So where will you be in, an, in, a, in a week? We're actually going to be in Moscow. <gasps> Yeah, we're playing. We're playing a gig in Moscow as part of Paddy's weekend over there. So yeah. So you're not going to be at home. We're not going to be at home. To the Russians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. Are you, you going to teach the Russians how to how to celebrate St. Patrick's? We're going to show the Russians what we got. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is this the first time that you're going to miss it because of your uh, musical career? Um, I think so. Yeah. I don't think we've been away for Paddy's Day before. No. Um, what a sacrifice. What a sacrifice, yeah. All yeah. for music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're missing our national holiday, you know? Wow. Um, so, um, uh, uh, looking back at the Eurosonic Festival, how, how was that for you? Was that the first time uh, playing in the Netherlands? That was our first time in the Netherlands, and it was amazing. I mean, we had a blast. Um, the gig we thought went really well. Everyone was really receptive to it. We had a great time. Uh, stayed on a hotel boat, was which awesome. was always a fun time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our first time. <laughs> and, uh, legendary. Yeah, yeah, and we've been back to the Netherlands a handful of times now, and it's just, we love playing over here, it's so fun. The Dutch are crazy. Yeah, yeah, the well, Dutch well, are crazy. Yeah, wait till, wait, wait till you get to the culinary experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have to come to the Netherlands? No, I have just called you. We're still waiting for the uh, surprise. <laughs> 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 Jij vertelt het zo meteen wel weer naar het Engels, hè? Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. Nee, ik heb, ik heb net even gebeld en toen zei, kreeg ik iemand aan de telefoon en die zei: Ja, maar je wilde zo laat mogelijk. Nee, nee. Toen zei ik: Nee, zo laat nee. Mo- jullie zijn om tien uur dicht, dus zei ik: om het Zo laat mogelijk. En dat kreeg ik ook door. Oké. Okay. Maar het en komt het, wel zo. Ja, het komt binnen nu in een half uurtje. Echt. Dus worden als je speak worden ze gemaakt. Worden ze nog uh, afgeknepen? Ja. Okay. So. You, you're not leaving this building until the uh, surprise has arrived. The, the, to be um, honest, it's a surprise for us as well. Alright. Um, oh God, what so, is this? Well, you fell in love with the croquette. Oh, yeah. We and, did, yeah. And, um, Groente croquette. The groen, yeah, because uh, three of you are vegetarian, right? That's right, yeah. So that, that'll that leave out three of you. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. I, I didn't know <laughs> that because okay. we're going to, to uh, take it next level to the frikandel. Next level. And that's, that's that's like everything left over at the butcher's. <laughs> What do we do with this? <laughs> it's the frikandel. Yeah. But um, I don't know if, 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 you, um, uh, if you have that back in Ireland where you get ice cream and you put um, uh, here. <laughs> disco dip on it. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, sprinkles, yeah. Sprinkles, yeah, yeah, that's sprinkles, right. Yeah. So, um, some students in uh, in Nijmegen in the Netherlands, uh, they must have been very drunk. They went into this uh, uh, cafeteria and said, we want to try everything. So they had like ice cream with satay sauce and, 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 and weird shit. And then they got to the disco del, which is a frikandel with mayonnaise and sprinkles. Oh my. I know, right? Was it good? <laughs> well, they're still alive. They're still alive. That's the main and, thing. And um, the cafeteria did not uh, take it off the menu, so uh, apparently it's edible. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Is it now a Dutch like national delicacy? No. Um, well, it it could be because it's on its uh, way. It's 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 only uh, this this one cafeteria has it. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I just read about it today, and I just thought, like, oh, that's amazing! I want to yeah. try that. So we're gonna try it, and um, you never know. I mean, it's 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 such a new snack that it might even get to Moscow or Dublin before it actually reaches yeah. Dutch national popularity because yeah, yeah. of you guys. We'll bring it over. We'll bring it back. Next time you're in Dublin, you'll see that as that whole craze has just kicked off. Where did the Guinness factory go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disco down! <laughs> Disco down! No more Guinness. Okay, um, so that's coming up for you. Awesome. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> woo, woo.